125 years of education in Christchurch. Rangiruru kicked off their celebrations by opening their new science and library centres. Rangiruru is obviously, like uh, many other schools, going through that uh, rebuilding process. But they've chosen this as the moment in time, not just to patch and make good, but to actually really change the way that learning occurs on the campus. Rangiruru School didn't escape the earthquakes unscathed. The school lost several buildings that had to be demolished after not meeting building standards. But today's event marks a turning point for the school. Symbolically is representing the complete uh, rebuilding of Rangiruru. Roger Sutton, the Chief Executive of the Canterbury Earthquake Recovery Authority, was on hand to unveil the innovative building to the students. It's environmentally friendly and includes learning spaces specifically designed for the students, including weather stations and internal displays showing energy use. It's a naturally ventilated building. It's got solar panels, which are an integral part of the way the building is harvesting energy. It's, uh, it's got a heating and cooling system. It's got green walls. It's got you know, indices that are showing the students the way that their environment is responding and that the way they're consuming energy and able to conserve energy. The opening of the two centres is the start of more to come, with four buildings in total to be opened on the campus by the end of the year. This is uh, getting to the point where the first major milestones are being officially opened. The next building is only a month away and that uh, before the end of the year we'll have the fourth building open. So it's a, a rapid fire succession of opening projects. The school's new facilities have been designed to cater for the school in the next 100 years. Emma Cropper, CTV News.